Afternoon, sir. Council, we're going to go to about two thirty. So whoever's whoever's examining at that time, find a place to, to break. And then we'll take a afternoon recess. Please introduce yourself to the members of the jury. Uh, my name is Will Hopkins. I'm the executive director of New Hampshire Peace Action. Uh, how long have you had that position? About three and a half years. What is New Hampshire Peace Action? Uh, we are a statewide nonprofit. Uh, focused on uh, Pentagon spending and shifting spending to human needs uh, and ending U.S. foreign wars and entanglements through primarily public education, uh, a little bit of lobbying, uh, and grassroots action. Uh, and sir, did you serve in the military? I did. Uh, I served in the New Hampshire Army National Guard. Uh, I was in Iraq in 2004 and 2005 as an infantry. And um, let's write that. Um, I, I've just got about two questions for you. Um, you knew about the Occupy movement in 2011? Yes. And did you participate in it? Uh, I did. I participated in uh, Occupy Wall Street, uh, spent the night in Zuccotti Park, uh, stopped the machine in Washington, D.C., uh, and Occupy New Hampshire. And uh, my two questions are these. Why did you join the Occupy movement, and why didn't you get arrested for trespass on October 19th? Um, I, uh, I joined the Occupy movement because I saw um, a, uh, uh, a government that is not responsive to the needs of its people, but rather to the needs of uh, only those who are funding elections. Um, and so I, I, I felt like that was a, a chief part of uh, our militarism and a chief part of the message of the Occupy protests. Um, I did come down and receive a citation, um, but for me it was a, um, you know, an assessment of was I willing to risk jail time. Uh, I was willing to risk paying a fine to challenge in the courts, but not jail time for a jury. Thank you. something about jail time. Uh, the issue of punishment or uh, <laughs> what may or may not happen if there is or not uh, conviction uh, is not for your purview, so it's for the court. So if you could disregard that, can you all tell me you could disregard that, right? Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Now, you didn't go to Veteran Parks, uh, excuse me, Veterans Park on October 19th until you received a phone call around 9.30 p.m., is that correct? That is correct. And the reason you went there is because you found out that the police were going to be asking people to leave. Correct. So you went for the experience? Is that what you went for? Uh, no. I, I felt a responsibility to, um, to help, uh, to be there to challenge uh, in the courts and be a part of that uh, when, because I feel that especially the New Hampshire Constitution, hold, which holds uh, the freedom of speech uh, inviolable, uh, I, I felt like that was something that needed to be challenged in the courts, and I, I felt that it was important uh, for me personally to be a part of challenging that uh, and bringing it bringing it out uh, to the courts to, for review. Just one moment. Now, 
So by receiving a citation, you were still able to challenge <coughs> what it is that you said that you wanted to challenge, correct? Uh, in front of the judge, and but not the jury. Okay. So you went down there to receive a citation, and you received that. Yes. And there's others that were there as part of Occupy that just chose to leave without any citation, without anything. Yes. You would agree with me that, uh, were you there during Captain Cunha's speech? I was. Okay. So you would agree with me that uh, Captain Cunha gave you a couple of choices. The first being that you could just leave without anything happening. Correct. Second, you could you could get a citation and then leave. Yes. Or third, you could stay after you receive the citation <coughs> and be arrested for criminal trespass. Yes. And you chose to leave. I chose the second option, to get a citation. How many people would you say uh, left before any citations? Uh, probably half of those who were there. And approximately how many people would you say were there? Uh, a little over 40 would be my guess. And how many people would you say received citations? I believe the original number was 22, uh, but it was about 20. And there was only a, a handful, including the three defendants here, that chose to stay and be arrested. That was their choice, correct? Yes. Now, um, earlier I'd asked you whether or not you were there um, for the experience, and you said that no, that's not what you were there for, correct? Did I get that? Did I understand that right? That, that wasn't the primary reason I was there, but uh, I, I did want to be a part of it. Okay, so you so you were there for the experience? Uh, that's, uh, sure, that, that was part of it. And obviously not all of it, as I explained, I wanted to uh, challenge the, the freedom of speech in the, in the courts. Uh, and I wanted to be a part of that that process. Does the Occupy movement condone violating state and local laws? Uh, Occupy is a tactic. So the Occupy movement has a wide variety of opinions. Uh, and I'm sure there are people in Occupy that do not condone breaking laws. And certainly many of us uh, appreciate the tradition of civil disobedience displayed by Dr. King and others uh, and, and are willing to, to break the law uh, to, to, to help uh, Move, move our cause forward. You weren't, um, Occupy was not contesting the criminal trespass laws at the public parks, correct? That, that's not what the Occupy movement was about. The, the, uh, well, no, the <laughs> Occupy movement was uh, utilizing a tactic that involved uh, staying in one space to get your message out. Okay. So you're agreeing with me that you weren't contesting the criminal trespass laws? Um, I don't think so, no. I don't think that was the primary purpose of what we were doing, but uh, part of the tactic is to stay in one place, uh, including if that means violating laws. So, you would agree with me that there's a there's a number of different tactics that you can take to get your message across, correct? Sure. You could have moved on to the sidewalk that night and continued there, just not blocking the sidewalk. Uh, unlikely, um, but generally they would they would uh, have moved us along for loitering if that was the case. At least that was the impression I got from the police. Now. Um, you said that you were there when Captain Cunha spoke, correct? Yes, I was. So you didn't hear him when he told uh, that people can move to the sidewalk, just just don't block the just don't block the sidewalk. Uh, I I don't remember that. It may have happened. Um, I remember th that there was a conscious decision not to uh, simply move there because that that could I mean, there were a lot of us and it would have been tough to not block the sidewalk with all of us. So speaking about tactics, uh, you could uh, picket. Yeah. March. Yes. Uh, parade. Flyers. Sure. Uh, you all go, of these things. Yeah. And you, you, you could start a, try to start a political party. Yeah. Go to legislative hearings. Sure. These are all things that I think some of us have, have worked on at one time or another. And you could go vote. Sure. So you can do a number of other things other than just going and occupying the park, correct? Well, yes. It would. Uh, it's not the tactic that we were using at that point. But you would agree that there are other tactics. Absolutely. Have a good day. Sure. We'll do. Remember, sir, we're going to take an afternoon break, about 10 minutes.
I'd ask you not to talk among yourselves concerning the case or with others or do any independent research via the internet or any other sources. We'll see you back out here in 10 minutes. Okay. All right.